Kroger. I assume you called in regard to the mortgage payment on Castle Plunkett, unfortunately still delayed by what seems to be our endless postal strike. Dear sir, I must once again remind you my first name is not Dick, nor is my last name Faith. It is simply Peter. Peter Plunkett. No, I was not given a middle name, but had I been, I feel certain my mother would not have chosen low-life, shit-for-brains, peckerhead. Well, you obviously know a side of mother I have been happily sheltered from. Nevertheless, I marvel at your colourfully creative, ever-so-American colloquialisms which flow so trippingly from your razor-like tongue. The hotel is in tip-top condition. The renovations are proceeding at a... What? 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 Why shouldn't I bother? Peter, who are you calling? Oh, Mother, will you please get off the line? Turning the castle into a theme park. Irish world. Gee, what an interesting notion. In, in, in Malibu. What is Malibu? I see you want to move the castle to Malibu, which I am to presume lies on the western corner of those United States. Mr. Brogan, if I cannot send your payment, how on earth do you expect to transport an entire castle across the sea? The number of stamps alone is mind-boggling. But I can assure you, Mr. Brogan, that if it goes on much longer, I will take this check which I am holding in my hand and personally ferry it across the water to England and mail it to you myself. That's how much I care. What postal strike? Shut up, mother! I don't think that kind of language is necessary, Mr. Brogan. Understand the book of them. So, what you're saying is that if I don't come up with the money in three weeks, you will foreclose and take over Castle Plunkett. I see. Have you heard of the quality of mercy, Mr. Brogan? No? You haven't read your Shakespeare, Mr. Brogan. Goodbye. apologize profoundly to the ghosts of my ancestors for making a mess of their ancestral home. Hold that. I'm not going to help you. Mother. Hmm? How many ghosts are there here? Well, there's great auntie Nan and uncle Toby and that nice Elizabethan lady. And uh, the nun who was walled into the closet, and Oliver's bastard who never came out of the library. Mother. What, well, darling? What a wonderful idea. What, well, darling? Ghosts. Ghosts? Ghosts. Wonderful tourist attraction. Katie! Restored edifice in the heart of the incomparably beautiful Irish countryside. Also known to be the most haunted place on the Emerald Isle. Here the dead outnumber the living. This castle contains more ghouls, ghosties, long-legged beasties, and things that go bump in the night than on any other place in this revolving, revolting maggots. Spinning earth! We can promise you banshees, hookahs, ghouls of all descriptions. The one thing we won't promise is a good night's sleep. But there are no bloody ghosts here. 
I know, but there will be. We'll invent them. Yes, Mr. Wilson, the accommodations are strictly modern insofar as renovations have been consistent with maintaining the ectoplasmic ambience of Castle Plunkett and environs. Illusion. Like you, Katie, for instance, you high on a wire would be magnificent as a flying barn sheet. <laughs> <laughs> dry rot, selective damp. Some fungus here and there. Ghosts need such things to exist. Thank you. Patricia, Patricia, you, you could be a mermaid or Lady Godiva. <laughs> Anybody dead down there? Only the corpse, Eamon. What the shagging hell are you doing up there? Genius, boy. Your genius. Just your way till they see it. The bloody hand to the front. And the bloody feet at the rear. <laughs> I look back in the name of God. That we're not doing the African queen, but you get me the shagging fish, I asked you for. Americans are coming tomorrow. Now, Eamon, you little genius, one more time. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Jack, what are you doing? It's a little champagne to us, to Ireland. Your homeland, Loch Ness Monster, guys in skirts. That's Scotland, Jack. Oh, I knew that. I knew that. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh Christ! Oh, Jack, I'm just taking it. too I valuable. Now you're trying to drown me. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, no, no. Oh, next thing you know, you want to have sex. I suppose sex is out of the question. I think I should be the tart on the horse and you should be the hag in the tree. I think I should go home. Just give me that hair back. and pillage and rape women uh, and children, nuns and priests. We have children here. Even Christian brothers and mothers of the occasional sheep or goat. Now here, within the confines of Castle Plunkett itself, we come to the infamous Wailing Willow, from which the brogue and banshee is reputed to wail and howl from time to time. They're coming, Katie, they're coming. Get ready to show them all you have.
Gentlemen, children, you appear to be a trifle moist. May I? Good evening, boys, young lady. Mr. Crawford, Mrs. Crawford, Mrs. Clay. Mr. Plunkett, what is this whiting uh, in glace? Oh, that would be a lovely whiting with breadcrumbs. And the um, whiting and the tour? Boiled whiting. So what's the whiting vapor stuff? And that, my dear young one, would be whiting steam. And what is this? Whiting Bordeaux? Ha, 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 ha. Very witty, Mr. Clay, very witty. OK, Mom, you've got us here. Now, where are these ghosts? Come on, I want to see one now. Boy, I'm afraid there are no ghosts here. Oh, a cynic, Mr. Clay. No, a parapsychologist. Mr. Plunkett, Duke University. A para what? A parapsychologist, an expert in ghosts. Give the parapsychologist a drink, Katie. Whiting bisque, madame? Thank you. For you, Father, the whiting beast. So, I was seeing this guy, and he's a devil worshiper, right? Well, he's he's a hairdresser, really, but he devil worships on the side. And we booked this dumb tour because, you know, he likes ghosts, corpses, dead gerbils, that kind of thing. And he ran off with this Buddhist monk. I mean, how was I supposed to know he was gay? So, what about you? Are you gay too? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm chaste. Just kidding. Trick question. So, what are you doing here? Well, I, I thought I'd take a vacation here in the, in the Isle of Saints before I take my final vows, a sort of spiritual treat, retreat. Yeah. Well, I've kind of taken a vow myself. I've sworn off men for a while at least. But you're not a priest yet? No, not yet. Well, here's to keeping our vows. Mr. Plunkett, who's that? Mary Plunkett. My great, 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 great grand cousin. She died right here in Castle Plunkett 200 years ago. She couldn't take the whiting either? Her levity is out of place, Mrs. Crawford. She was murdered on her wedding night by the hand of her newly wedded husband.
why don't I just give you both here? I get the change later. Lovely music. Everybody's singing. Na, na, Jack. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Above Hochlin Bog. Those who do with nervous dispositions would do well to protect yourselves. Lock your windows, bolt your doors, say your prayers. For tonight they may be walking abroad the chloroclanes, the banshees, and the pukars. Good night. Sleep well if you can. <laughs> if you dare. <laughs> Yikes. Where did they all go? Don't ask. They might come back. Well, if there are any ghosts in this castle, I hope to God they put on a better show than this one. It's pretty scary, huh, kids? Didn't you see Nightmare on Elm Street? Give me a break. Ho, 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 ho. Ha, 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 ha. Scared the shit out of me. Right, phase two. Haiti, Banshee time. Julia. Where's my bandages? Because it's hard to get a significant CR reading when there is no observed deviation to uh, be measured. <clears throat> I'm afraid that this is going to be the most pitiful scam that I've ever had. It's not even a dress pleasure. hangle, and you dumb uh, exposure. Malky, get me the uh, nighty you bought me for duty free. Honey? Oh, thanks, Fat Bear. Oh, take this, would you? Expected random fluctuation of the standard uh, deviation would need to exceed 2.33 for it to be conceived as significant. Here we have a very impressive sight indeed. It's the winning Hereford Bull, owned by Mr. Lynch of Topper Curry, and he's won the competition for the third year in a row. Mind you, uh, the competition we saw today was of a very high quality indeed, and the judges had a very difficult test. Of course, these days, the judges uh, emphasize grooming, whether it be bull oh or... Oh, my sister. God. And, and I, Major I jet lag. Take a walk around the stalls this morning, whether it be herbert or bull indeed. The um, amount of hair work... Excuse me. Uh, I don't believe in ghosts. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Calm down, Miranda. You can stop it now, because really, I'm not scared. Oh, no. One more time, I'll take the empty of the window and it's a tap. Huh? Tap it yourself. No, no, I'm not. Away, little John. <laughs> You can't be looking at me, you bastard! Okay, you guys. If you aren't in bed in three seconds, you are grounded. Yet. And I'm not whistling Dixie.
Come to me, bugbear. Make me a woman. My love. Oh, that's the most pathetic display that I've ever seen. What is that, 45 degrees semi-silver mirror? Now, Eamon, the sword. Jack, what are you doing? I smell something burning, Jack. Oh, oh. 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 Jack! How many times do I have to tell you no? I'm exhausted. I just saw we are not just... making love tonight. I just saw this! That is the most pathetic excuse for sex I have ever heard. If I say I'm too tired, then I'm too tired. Thank you very much, Jack. Now I need to take two more Valium. Ah! My God, he's got one underwear. Oh, very nice. A pervert ghost. Oh, now for the children! Don't worry, Mark. Just... I'll handle this. Get away from the children! Ah! Yeah! Yeah! Supernatural, huh? and you wouldn't need your stupid pills. Do not take that Valium. Sharon, do not take that Valium. Would you listen to me for once in your life? Sharon, please! says to the unpredictability of spirits that causes problems, I would like to apologize for any minor inconvenience. This is the most pitiful supernatural sham that I've ever encountered. It will get better, I do assure you. <laughs> this pathetic fraud. There are laws, sir. I ask people like you. Marge, children, we're leaving. Maybe Jim Brogan will give us another chance. Jim Brogan? Uh, Jack. What's Jim Brogan got to do Jack. with this? Jack. Yeah, 
He has the mortgage on the place, and we've only got two weeks left, and then he's going to throw us out. Jack, I'm very tired. I'd like to go to bed now. Just wait. Now. A Just wait a minute. What's going on here, Mr. Plunkett? So he told a lie. Everyone lies once in a while, so Katie isn't a ghost, and Julia still has her head on, and Eamon isn't a mummy, and the castle isn't haunted, but what of that? What you have to ask yourselves is, why did we do it? We did it because we love this place. Every little worm eaten brick every little rotting nook and cranny. <sighs> Why should you Americans care if I lose my home? Castle Plunkett. And the villagers lose their only means of employment. Jack. Jack, let's go to bed. I care, Mr. Plunkett. What? I care. Jim Brogan is my father-in-law, so I'm involved in this. You're Jim Brogan's daughter? Yes. My name's Brogan. Well, I might as well tell you that there won't be any extensions on your mortgage. I mean, not after tonight's performance. I don't believe this. Well, Daddy asked me to check it out. I mean, this ghost business was too ridiculous. Came to sabotage us. No, no, no. You did perfectly all right all by yourself. I didn't have to lift a finger. Uh, Jack, are you coming? Look, I, I... I don't know what to say. I mean, I mean... I didn't know. I didn't. I mean, for what it's worth, I think this place is great. You're the ghost in the bedroom. <laughs> you were the, uh, the banshee on the luggage rack. <laughs> Sharon! 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 Hey! Wait a minute. Daddy wants this place. He's always wanted it. He was born here. He hates the Plunkets. Why? Why not? Daddy hates most people. So you lied to me. You used our second honeymoon for Daddy. Jack, it's business. It's business? Obviously a word you're not familiar with. you to lose your castle. Not to my father-in-law, he's a son of a bitch. Oh, my dear fellow, you're too kind. He's an unlovely combination of a son of a bitch and a rat's knackers. What's a rat's knackers? It's an unholy trinity of a muckraker, a gobshite, and a hers melt. <sighs> Guy's a dick. In a word. Would you like a drink? So I had one. I mean, a real drink.
Gotta look at the good sides. It's constantly, there's, other, there's two sides, there's two sides to the story. You ever seen Tiger Tan? Very fun. Milk of human kindness, Sharon. Three little words, every once in a while. Doesn't cost anything. I love you. Oh, shit. Wrong room. The room's not this nice. You killed her. Oh, Billy. <laughs> oh, Lord, what have I done? What did you do? What did you oh, do? God. She's a mess. God, what have I done? What have I done? Oh, Mary. Who are you guys? Oh, Mary. Mary Plunkett. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is an act. <laughs> this is an act. Right? How can I thank you? For what? For your selflessness. I, 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 I didn't do, I don't. How can I thank you? You are so beautiful. How can I thank you? Thank you. Don't go. Why do you have to go?
think I'm going crazy. I gotta know. Did you? Did you ever love me? Let's see if those pills really work. Yeah. You've had a good life. Morning, Lavinia. Well, our son is an idiot. We've known that for years, haven't we, darling? Well, this time he has surpassed himself. The ghosts are furious. Why? Well, they've heard that that gem Brogan fellow is going to move the castle to Malibu. What nice! All that sunshine and all those movie stars. No respectable ghost would live in California. Besides, they're Irish. What would they do there? Oh, if only I hadn't died, none of this would ever have happened. Well, you did die, didn't you, darling? So what are we going to do about it? Out of my hands. They won't listen to me. But they're going to give those Americans exactly what they came here for. Serve them right. I'm dead. This is what it feels like. I'm like a hangover. Peter, wake up. Wake up. The Yanks are leaving. Really? As long as I'm dead, I might as well tell you. You've got all the warmth of a penguin on an iceberg. Yeah. You're a dwarf. Yeah, you better clean those choppers real good so we can chew up the next jerk who comes along, huh? I'm not dead. No, but if I were you, I wouldn't make any long-range plans. Great, Jack. Now I've got a massive migraine coming on. My B-complex level is rock bottom. Sharon, Sharon. Uh, let me see that. Let me see. Sharon, I think... Kid. That pack, Jack. Yeah. Sharon, you, you took the Valium. Wrong pills. What do you have for your breakfast, little boy? Oh, some tame fish. That was a nice change. I said this place is a nightmare, Daddy. D of course I sound strange. I'm depressed. Everybody hates me. And last night, Jack slept on the floor, and, and when he woke up, he said he was dead, and, and that I was a dwarf, and that I had duck teeth. And you know I'm so conscious I am about those things. This is all your fault. I hate this place. <laughs> Are you all right? Do you think that I'm colder than a penguin on an iceberg? Oh, well, no. No, you see, actually, uh, penguins are a lot warmer than people give them credit for. Mm. <clears throat> How dare you! Jack! I didn't... 
Don't tell my wife. Thank you for what you did last night. It was nothing. What'd I do? You gave me my first moment of peace in near 200 years. I'll be in your debt for eternity, sir. It was nothing, it was nothing. And you don't have to call me sir. What can I call you? Uh, uh, Jack? Jack. Thank you, <laughs> sir, Jack. It's on me, okay? Lovely dress. My wedding dress. Today is my wedding day. Tonight he'll murder me. You get murdered every night? Every night until last night. What about tonight? That depends on you. Why me? Your love broke the chain. Crossed the boundary. Oh, my God! Hold on! You can't depend on me! Nobody can depend on me. My wife would never understand. I can't... Oh, it wasn't love then. Hold Mary. We hardly know each other. Jack! Okay! Look, I gotta go. Don't go, Jack. I gotta... I just... I... Look, I... You want to forget me. I don't know what I want. I just don't... What? <laughs> what? <laughs> There is a God. Hey, would your name conceivably be Jack? Yeah. Apologize for our... 
I think we could stay one more night. to a little wind. Oh, dear. That would be the spirits in the castle. Sorry. What are you doing? I'm praying to St. Bridget to release me from my marriage vows. Look, this is too psychotic for me. I mean, look... I, I, I mean, I'm, up, I'm as up for a good nervous breakdown as anybody, really. But, uh, but this is too much. I mean, I get here yesterday, my marriage collapses. Then I save a ghost from being murdered by another ghost. Now, if you think about it, that makes no sense at all. Then I fly through the air, hit a tree, and then and, and, and Ronaldo, the talking horse here, leads me to, to the most beautiful ghost that I, I've ever seen in my... Last night, when you took Martin's sword in my stead, you broke the cursed chain that has bound me for 200 years. What cursed chain? My marriage to Martin Brogan was arranged by my father. I did not love him. He had warts and his feet stank. On my wedding night, I refused to be tooped by him. Tooped? Oh, Tuft? I get it. Go on, go on, go on. He thought I loved another, though I did not. And in a jealous fury, he did me to death. Now, every day for me is the same. If I get murdered one more time, I'll scream. Who'd want to be a ghost? We are what we are. So, uh, this Marty stank, huh? I and he squished. He squished? Squished. Oh, he squished. <sighs> Could you love a, a man who, who, who belched but uh, didn't squish? I could love you, sir, Jack. If you loved me, the miracle could happen. I can't. I can't. I cannot do this. I am married. Ah, then you don't love me. I didn't say that. And I am doomed forever. Even now, Martin dons his garments, sharpens his knife. Goodbye, Sir Jack. Look, you're a ghost. I'm an American. It would never work out. Sweet Mother Mary. Saint 
to call him. Mary, look, I don't want you to get Please murdered again. I don't. It's just that Please my wife. Me. If she found Please out, she murdered me. me. I've got pains all over my body. Could you rub my back? Well, go on, Jack. I won't bite. Oh, Jack, you never did it like that before. Mm. Oh, St. Patrick. Ooh. Oh, St. Jude. Mm. Oh, St. Colin Kell. Okay. Not really. Oh. What are you doing? I have to check this place out. Something smells very wrong here. Yes, it does. It, it smells like burnt rubber. No, no, that's me. To right, to right, to left, left to right, right. Do you believe left, this? Right, right. There's only four channels. The cables must be unplugged. There's no cable. This is it. I can tell you, this place sucks the big one. So, fingers together. <laughs> Children, the eternity is a big commitment. You know, it's a long time. You got to take things one step at a time. That's the key. You do love her, don't you? Yeah, I guess I do. I, I, I don't know. What's the problem then? She's a ghost. She's dead. I'm alive. How do you know all this? I'm married to one. to join us for a drink. Yeah, I could use a drink. Yeah, sure. Oh, dear Lord. I do beseech thee to help me in this, my hour of need. Oh, cleanse me of these impure thoughts I have for this woman. Come on.
Brother Tony? Works in mysterious ways. True love can move mountains. Yeah, but it can't bring the dead back to life. Oh, yes, it can. On All Hallows Eve. Halloween? It's tomorrow night. Yes. When the spirit moves and the flesh is willing and the, the juices flow and the scalping uh, is mighty. Uh, what's scalping? <laughs> It's a ghost term. But it's dangerous. You mustn't go too far. What do you mean? Who were you expecting? Well, I don't get those fake ghosts for one thing. This is entirely different, isn't it? Is there something wrong with our room? Something well, different. What are you talking about? Ghosts? 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 We're talking real, live spirits here. How do you explain this? The weather. Oh, come mm. off it, will you? Don't you understand? He wants us here. He knows it's the only way he can keep this dump. I don't know about the rest of you, but Plunkett, <laughs> you haven't fooled me at all. I, I've been fooled. Oh, I've been, me too. I've been Explain very this fooled. to me. A ghost may not tup with a human. So this means a ghost cannot make love with a human being. Oh, my God. Mary? Who's Mary? Uh, Who's this Mary? She's a woman. She's a ghost. Oh, just no, she's don't a woman start ghost. this ghost stuff She's again. someone I care about, and I, I'm, I... It's funny how you can care... I think I'm falling... Jack, don't stand there and tell me that you're yeah. having an affair with a goddamn ghost. Well, I am. No, Wait, that's it. You gotta that's give it, me a chance. It. You can't your just lawyer, walk right... Your lawyer, my lawyer. And I hope the ghost has a lawyer because I want to meet him. You know, the conflict... Here she is. This is Mary. No, Martin. This is Mary. Oh. Mary the ghost. So, yeah, we harlot. No, Martin. On top of that, huh? That's Martin. That's the man that was in my That's bathroom. Martin the ghost. Yeah, he's either going to come he's over, he's going to throw her on the bed here. Do he's just gigantic. Her. That's Martin the ghost. They're having problems in their relationship. Oh, no, Jack, we're having problems in our relationship. Come here. Honey, you got to see this. Come on, Anthony. 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 Come on,
Who gets it? Well, you were going to stab your wife with a sword, you pig. Ah, sure, that's no big thing. I do it every day. And I suppose watching other men's wives in a bathtub is no big deal either. Ah, sure, it's a grand thing if the wife happens to be you. Are you dirty, peeping Tom? My name is not Tom. It's Martin. Oh, very. Oh, very. I'm sorry, darling. What have I done to you? What have I done? Oh, God. Oh, God. Here, give us a wee scalp before it vanishes. No, no, no. Not again. Jeez, you're a wild wee vixen, aren't you? Huh? Oh, Lord. What have I done? Oh, God. What have I done? Oh, God. What a woman. You're not so bad yourself. What's scalping? Scalping. This is scalping. Wasn't nice. That was nice. It was very, 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 very nice. Hold on, Barry. Wait a minute. You can't just scalp me and leave me. Can't help it. Scalping takes a lot out of you. Look, Mary. I. I'll be in the chamber at midnight tomorrow. five courses. When you break your back to give them the ghosts you thought they wanted, they scream at you, and when you throw the towel in, they scream even louder. They see spooks everywhere. Spooks in the bathroom, spooks under the bed. Don't they know when the joke is over? How they cower like nothing. What is going on here, Eamon? Why are chunks of masonry floating about? Sister. Uh, Ralph, sister. Uh, not to mention. Oh, no, no, no. Your daddy. But he's dead! I know. He looks terrible angry, too. And I have a perfect right to be, considering what you have done to our ancestral home. Full of the- think you could get away from me? Leave me alone, you're dead. Not so dead, I can't see what a numbskull you are. Oh, fine. Call me names. That's so easy. But for God's sake, look at you. What did you have to give me this place for? You knew I wasn't incompetent. All I wanted to be was happily useless. You made me miserably useless giving me this place. Bars to run. Bills to be paid. And then dying on me just like that. 
Most people give some warning, you know, premature senility, angina, gout, bedridden for years, but not you. Oh, no, no, no. Healthy as an old goat, you pop off one day in the orchard, and what then? Not a goddamn word, not a whisper. Did it never occur to you that I might need some advice? I miss you. Oh, Peter, I, I never thought it was true. You old ghost. I missed your daddy. Oh, give your daddy a hug. Oh. oh, sorry, Peter. They will be back tonight. It is All Hallows' Eve. So if you see anything, just ignore it. Ignore it completely. Just pretend that it, it didn't happen. I do that now. I don't hear anything, do you? No. No. Don't you just love Whitey? I missed my wedding for the first time in years. That's how much I want you. Act sure I know I'm a ghost and a murderer, but forget about all that. Listen, tonight's All Hallows' Eve. The one night in the year that I turn to flesh. So, what do you say to a wee bit of scalp from me? Come on, man. At least tell me your name. The best boogies from here to Ballandary. Come on, what do you say? Let's give it a twirl. Eh? Drop dead. Oh, God, what a woman. He who taps with the spirit finds only the grave. But the virtuous heart, true love will save. He who taps with the spirit finds only the grave. But the virtuous heart, true love will save. Don't drink whiskey. Who? Spirits. Oh, what the hell would I know? The Irish ones do. He says the Irish ones do. Don't. Now, what do they or don't they? Well, you don't shake a note, do you? Look, look. It may be no more than a local disturbance in the extra planner ether. Eat me bollocks. A supernatural belch, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Davy, drinks all around. <laughs> Ignore it. No. Oh, where's your ectoplasm now? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
God, you're real. Having fun. Me out of control here. I'm afraid I've been with my family. Oh, listen, is the roof house. leaking? Yeah, no, oh, it's there. What it was like here. Did we just stop? No, but it's not too far off. Right, right. Hey, how about some champagne, huh? A little champagne to get our mind off the old you know what. Right? Whoa, usually messes up. Drink to me only with thine eyes, and I will pledge with mine. Or leave a kiss within the cup, and I'll not ask for a wine. That was so beautiful. Who wrote it? Ben Johnson. Oh, Ben Johnson. You know, whenever I hear Ben's material, it just makes me think about you know what. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I apologize. Uh, quote me something. Quote? Uh, anything to keep our minds off. You know what? Right. A quote. There ain't nothing in the world like a big-eyed girl to make me act so funny, make me spend my money, makes me feel real loose like a long-necked goose. Dun-dun-dun. Oh, baby, that's a what I like. That's so... Who wrote that? The Big Bopper. Maybe you know him. He's dead, too. Are you sure they're gone? Everyone. What? Stay behind me. You have to check this place out. The this Every the inch of it. Castles, crowns. scary to... Quiet! I doubt if it will work with the bunk of ancestors. Check out. It's rather unapproachable. Oh, Sir Jack, I'm in me coops. No, that's nothing. I'm really drunk. No, we mustn't. Right. We should just be friends. I'm not tubbing. Oh, I'm not tubbing, right? I mean, this is somewhere between a, between a scalp and a tub, right? Okay. 
I can't. You can't? It's not right. I know, I know. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, no. Stop. Uh -huh. Stop. Stop. Oh, don't listen okay. to me, Jack. Go on. Uh -huh. <laughs> Jack, you remember our promise? Remember? Yeah. I looked up to the right. Oh, blue for me! Come here to me. Come here to me. You look very like my mother. Ah! Jesus, Mary Joseph. Jesus, Mary Joseph. Oh, Lord, please save this beautiful creature from these demons. If a life must be taken, take mine. Take mine. Ta yes. Oh, yay, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Goodbye, my love. I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me. We're just playing around, darling, you know? Jack? You threw me over this? This... Ugh. I mean, I knew you liked passive women, Jack. But she's half dead. I hope she has a great personality because this hurts. Well, look, well, at least she hurts. said she loved me. That's a lot more I than you ever did. Jack. I do. Yeah, we are an Oh, no. Oh, no. I'll tell you. Oh, no, no. She looks dead enough already. Don't start that. Please don't start that. I'm sorry, I'll see her. Oh, Jack, your wife's some woman. So is yours. So it. was yours. Oh, Sharon. Oh, Martin. Where are you going? Jack. Uh, Jack, I was just kidding. You were made for each other, and you look great. It's you really do. Jack. Bye, Mary. Sorry for the last 200 years, darling. Jack, you said you love me forever. No, I know, I know, Mary. I just you you were you were so different then. Only on the outside, Jack. Inside I'm the same. Yeah, I, I know, I, I I know I know looks are and everything. I I'm I'm, I'm in here, Jack. It's, it's just that they can help so much when you Jack, when you kiss get, me. You kiss you. Uh, maybe we should get some moisturizer. Kiss me. 
Rachel. Uh, some medical supervision or something. Time. Uh, Sharon, you do love me, don't you? Oh, yes. You do love me, Sir Jack. Yeah. And look at me. Well, then, be with me. Be with me forever. Any way you want it. for this. I don't want this to happen. Oh, God. Oh, sure. Oh. Forever, Jack. Dead. Oh, no. Take my word for it. Uh, you're just saying that so you can have your wicked way with me. Sure, if you weren't dead, I wouldn't be able to have my way with you. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Oh. Brother Tony, you forgot your collar. No, he didn't. He threw it away, didn't you, baby? I'm on the human. Mr. Brockett, single-handedly the worst vacation that I've ever experienced in my life. Thank you, Mr. Clare. However, I'll be recommending Castle Plunkett as the most haunted castle in the Western Hemisphere. I hope that helps you with your business. You're too kind. I second that. Most gracious.
on in and make a nice fish sandwich. Thank you enough, Sir Jack, mm. for deciding to stay. Oh, hey, where am I going to go, right? And listen, Mary, when are you going to stop calling me sir, huh? Sorry, mm. I can't help it. Well, maybe when you decide to marry me. Mm. Are you asking? Well, my wife's hardly dead, and it was such a horrible death. Maybe we could wait a couple of centuries. Or... Oh. Hey, hey, hey! We booked the hall till 12. How about a little privacy? The day is for the living, Jack. The night is for the dead. How's the corpse? Pretty good. How's the psycho? What's the gift? So is the trip worth it, Jack? Yeah, yeah. She thinks I'm brilliant. Oh, Mary, you put on a wee bit of flesh since I last saw you. I'm not getting stabbed every night, then. Mary, it hurt me more than it hurt you. Go on now with it. So, how's the yank? He takes me shopping. Uh -huh. Come here to me. My love, my reason for dying. How'd she ever learn to dance like that? Happiness, sir, Jack. Yeah, happiness. <laughs> <laughs> 